Okay, so I just wanted to make this uh, screencast so you can see sort of how to use Tracker. And then I'll copy and paste the data uh, into Logger Pro. Okay, um, so I'm going to go video, import, and I'll find the video of my fan car uh, slowing down. I got one of the car slowing down while moving in, to the right, and then it speeds up while moving to the left. Okay, so there it is. There's the video I wanted. I'll press play till it's where I want. The car's not yet in frame, so looks like the car's in frame right now. So I'll press pause. I'll control click and I'll set my start frame there. Okay. And it looks like the entire time, um, looks like I'm good till the end. So that looks pretty cool. Um, now I'll go to calibration stick, new calibration stick. And the calibration stick should show up on the screen in a moment. Um, any second now. Okay. All right, so there's my calibration stick, and I'll move it here. You could zoom in if you want to. Um, I got a pretty good view of this meter stick that we placed in frame, and this looks like it's 10, 20, 30, 40 meters. No, that's 40 centimeters. So I'm right 40, and I'm going to remet. I'm going to remember that the units I'm using are centimeters. Okay. So I'll write. I'll type in 40 here. Okay. And I return. So that's 40 centimeter. That's my calibration stick. Uh, maybe I'll I'll use a. Um, I don't need the calibration stick anymore, so I'm going to hide it by clicking here. Um, I'll put a, a coordinate system in here, and I'm going to use uh, there, right there, because that's where I think I'm going to be able to track the car. I, I don't think there's anything else in the picture that's going to have this horizontal line, this black tape with the contrasting white. So I think that's going to be a really good thing to track, and uh, I'll just see if it works. Um, so I'm going to make this what I track, so I'm just making that zero, so my object is at zero centimeters at zero seconds. That seems like it would make sense. Um, okay, so now I go create point mass, and you'll notice over here we should end up with uh, graphs and stuff. Oh, it might take a minute. Just waiting for it. Okay, see if that looks like it's still working on it. There we go. My computer's running a bit slow. Um, okay, so now I did create point mass. It says mass A. I have a, I have a graph, and this will be where my data is going to show up. Um, and I'll just see if I can use the auto tracker. Um, click on the auto tracker button, and then I'm going to just follow the instructions. Uh, shift control and just like I said I'm gonna try right there and let's see if I can track this fan car okay um, I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'll hit search and I'm gonna watch here and uh, just try to be sure that it's actually tracking my object looks like it's doing a good job looks like it's working out and my graph is, is showing up pretty nice. I'll be able to, I should be able to see a curve there soon um, as I get more data. And it does look like it's, it's a nice curve. Um, slopes decreasing, like I would expect if the car is slowing down. Um, that looks pretty cool. Um, yeah. And now, at some point, the slope should approach zero. And then the slope will get steeper again as the car moves to the left and speeds up. And 
and uh, yeah, that black tape with the white fan is uh, working out really nice. Uh, the auto tracker is working really well with that. The template, you'll notice, looks very unique. Um, it's matching it really well. Um, better than I could do by clicking on it by hand, for sure. And it would take me a long time to get all this data. Um, pretty cool. Okay, now this, this curve actually looks different than the curve that we saw while the car was slowing down. Um, I don't know if you noticed that, but this curve, the slope doesn't seem to be changing as much. So um, there might be a different acceleration. We'll have to see how that works out. Um, but that's okay. We'll just, it is what it is, you know? Um, pretty cool. I like I like the auto tracker. It's a it's a cool feature. Um, all right, looks like it it worked all the way till the end, which is nice. That that doesn't happen often where it actually collects data the whole time without any issues. Um, usually you have issues and you just try again a couple times and then it then eventually works out. But uh, that worked out the first time. So I'm gonna hit close and. Auto Tracker and Tracker software for me has served its purpose. It's got me all this data for time and position. It's measured the horizontal position of, of this object. So I'm going to highlight this data and I'm going to click on um, Apple C. I think on a Windows machine it's, it's a little different, but Control C maybe would do it. Um, I'm going to open Logger Pro, and there's Logger Pro. I find Logger Pro is a lot, a lot nicer for just graphing and analyzing data, but it doesn't have anything like the tracker feature. We would have spent an hour clicking on things if we wanted to get such good data. Um, and now I'm going to click on the first cell, and I'm going to do Apple V. And there's all my data. That's fantastic. I can click here to scale my graph. And just like I was saying, this side, the slope gets less steep at a certain rate. And then on this side, the slope seems to be getting more steep, but at a different rate. Um, I'm expecting a different acceleration. But uh, let me label my, my data table. I'm going to double click here. Um, those are, I think, when I copied it from Cracker, those are all times. So I write time t seconds. Hit return. I'll click here, double click here, and I'll click on, I'll say position um, x, these are horizontal positions, and the units I used were was uh, centimeters with my calibration stick, and I'll hit return. And now um, I got to show you how to get your velocities from this. So I'm going to select my graph. You can see these these little squares around my graph, right? So I'm going to select my graph. I'm going to copy it with, an, uh, with a Mac. It's Apple C, and then Apple V. Okay, now there's two graphs there. You just can't see them. So I'm going to hit Apple R, which is basically auto arranging my page. If you go up here to the auto arrange, that's what I just did. Maybe I didn't have a second graph. I'll have to try that again. Apple C, Apple V. Okay, there we go. And then Apple R. Now I should have the two graphs there. Good. Okay. And I'm going to move my graphs over just a little bit. All right. Like maybe about there. Because I'm going to make another column here. Um, something like that. And then here, I can double click where it says data set, and I'm going to call this fan cart slows down and speeds up. That might be a little long, but let's see what it, fan cart slows. Okay, I'm maybe I'll just write fan cart. That'll be fine. Um, now I'm going to move this over and there's going to be a new column here 
Now I gotta tell Logger Pro how to make that column. The way I do that is I go analyze, no, data, new calculated column. And this is gonna be velocity, except this is instantaneous velocity. I'm, I'm gonna tell the computer how to find the velocity at every moment in time. So it's not so simple. It can involve a little bit of calculus, but for you it'll be easy. What the computer's doing is a little more involved. Um, the units for velocity have to match my units for position. So my units are going to be centimeters per second, right? And then right here, I'm going to tell the computer how to do this. Now, for us, the slope of our position time graph is the velocity. And what I want is the slope at each point. So you can't take two points on a curve and find the slope because this is a curve. If this position time graph were a line, you could just take two points on the line, find the slope of that. But since we have a curve here, um, what we do in calculus is we take the slope of a tangent line. So if you can imagine all these lines that are tangent, like uh, there's a button here I can show you. Um, I could show you real quick. Let me, let me cancel this and show you what I'm talking about really quick. See, this is this see this this is a sort of like a tangent line. It's not exactly a tangent line, but it's at least showing you how the slope is changing. So, the beginning part was the car slowing down to about there while moving in the positive direction, all the slopes were positive. And then over here on the second half of the motion, the slopes are negative and getting steeper. So that's basically what we're doing, except the way you can tell a computer to do that, it's called taking the derivative, it's taking the slope of a tangent line. So new calculated column, I'll type in instantaneous velocity again. All right. And I'll just call that V, and it was in centimeters per second. And the calculus term we, we use is derivative. So derivative simply means, so I'll go to calculus, derivative. It means give me the slope of the tangent line. Give me the slope of all those tangent lines. And I'm going to take the derivative of position, um, comma, with respect to time. So it's giving me the slope of all of my position time graph. That's all it's doing. And, and it's going to give me a lot of slopes, and that's going to be in this new column here. OK, I'll hit Done. And there they are. That's super cool. And then I can click here and change it to instantaneous velocity. And what do you know? I have a, a pretty nice linear pattern um, this would be my acceleration while I'm slowing down. And it's funny, I have a different acceleration while my car sped up and moved to the left. Um, so in your screencast for this one, if you get something like this, you know, just, just tell me what your data means. And um, make sure that if you put a best fit line on data, that your best fit line actually fits your data. Um, if you just put one, one big old best fit line here, it's not going to look right because um, this has a slope here and then it has a different slope here. So I would say that while the car is slowing down and moving to the right, it looks like it's slowing down by about 7 centimeters per second every second. And my car started at, with a speed of about 15 uh, centimeters per second. All right, and then when the car speeds up and moves in the negative direction, it moves, it moves to the left. It moves to the left and speeds up. All right, so over here, what I'm seeing is each second, the fan car is speeding up by about two and a half centimeters per second and it's speeding up while going in the negative direction. Um, so in your screencast, you want to explain that, explain 
what the acceleration actually means. In this case, 